think I have found the best blushes to ever exist. The new Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Liquid Blushes. I have tried all four shades and I have absolutely nothing bad to say. I am surprised myself. Wow. Now, if you guys remember, this was their original blush formula. This one is called Cheeky Rose and it literally looks like a rose. Now they came out with liquid versions. Now here is the description. Get the chicest cheeks with the buildable gel cream blush that melts into skin for a seamless finish. Now sometimes we get a lot of claims on a lot of makeup products and half of them are not even true, but I can assure you that everything that says here is actually true and you guys will have to see to find out. Yes, it's buildable. Yes, it melts into your skin. And yes, to seamless finish. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys. So I have four shades, which I think that's all they've released. And I also have a bonus. I'm also gonna be showing you guys their new liquid bronzer. I can't wait, so let's get started. All right, let's first try out this shade called Queen. Very interesting packaging. Love the little rose on the top. Oh, that's interesting. That reminds me of the She Glam blushes. All right, the moment of truth. Looks like a pretty pigmented shade. Okay, that blended out pretty easily. This is a matte finish. It was pigmented, but um, it's not like too overly pigmented. So when I blended it, it looks pretty natural. Now let's see if we can build it up. Like how dark can we get this to be? Let's say if your skin's a bit darker than mine. So when I used three dots, I had no problem blending and the color looked more natural against my skin tone. But if I use more, of the product, you can see that I can have more pigment on my cheeks. This is awesome because this pigment is something I might actually do if I'm going to put powder over it. Ooh, the finish looks really smooth. It looks beautiful. I like it. And this shade is pretty like neutral, like a neutral pink, rosy. I like it. All right, oh, let's try out the shade Lovely. Look at this packaging, it is so adorable. This is one of the reasons why I love Winky Lux. I'm hoping this will be more of a pink shade. Let's see. Start off with those three dots first. These are blending out very easily. Wow, I love it. So three dots gives me a very like natural flush of color. It's beautiful. These are quite easy to use. I hope they come out with more shades. Wow. It's a matte finish, but there is a little bit of silkiness to it. So it's not dry in any way. Beautiful. You know, sometimes when you use liquid blushes, when you're applying them, the product can start getting lifted up with the brush. That's not happening at all. It's really like melting into my skin and it looks beautiful. Now, I don't know how much I can build up this shade. Let's see, let's just dot it all. Over. And the sponge on the applicator feels so nice and soft. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right, that's pigment. So you can definitely build up the pink one that's called a lovely. 
very nice. Yeah, you can definitely see that this is a little bit more rosy and neutral and the lovely shade is a little bit more pink and more vibrant. Wow. All right, so let me clean this up, put on some foundation, and we're gonna try out the other two shades. All right, my face is ready for more blushes. Now, the foundation that I'm wearing is Huda Beauty's foundation. This is the shade 250G Cheesecake. And on my eyes, I have one of the new Morphe Quince. I think this one's called Welcome to Miami. I wanted to try out the olive shade again because it was looking more like a charcoal shade in my review. I'll leave the link for that video at the end end of this video but um yeah this is what it looks like i like it next we have darling and noble i wonder if this one's gonna look more orangey so let's try darling again obsessed with their outer packaging we're gonna do the three dots oh yeah definitely don't leave it on for too long <laughs> Because for a few seconds, I kept seeing those three dots. Alright, I mean, this is like a peach shade, I would say. Yeah, this, I would use this shade if I wanted to do something a little bit more warmer tone. I like it. Alright, now it's time to see how much pigment can I get. <laughs> it's just a really seamless blend, very nice finish. It looks beautiful with just a little bit. It's gorgeous. Wow. Oh my God, the last one, this shade is called Noble. Three dots. This is looking pretty neutral. Hmm, that's interesting. It's just a really nice neutral shade, but I wonder what makes it different than the first neutral shade. I would say the first neutral shade was still a little bit more pink than this one. This one's like your real neutral when you don't want to bring any attention to your blush. You just want a very natural look that is more like neutral and nude than this blush is perfect. Like this is a perfect everyday blush. Let's see how much we can build this up. If you're going to get one, I think Noble, Noble, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, if you're going to get one, then Noble is a beautiful shade. Wow. That's a lot of pigment. I have said pigment like so many times in this video. But this makes me really happy. Like I generally really love this product. Sometimes when I do reviews, I'm like, I like it. I really like this part. But then I don't know about this one. But this one, I can just, just generally just love it. And because it's not a glossy finish, I bet you that these will be long wearing as well. Like the finish is smooth, but it's not glossy, but there's a little bit of like silkiness to it. Absolutely beautiful. I also got a bronzer. They also released a couple of shades of bronzers and this shade is called Ibiza. Unfortunately, they didn't release a whole lot of shades. But maybe, you know, similar to the blush, maybe their bronzers are buildable. This looks like a very cool tone shade. Blending out beautifully. No issues blending. Do like dots everywhere. <laughs> yeah, looks good. But what I can try is on my hand to see a difference between one dot and like several dots and see, you know, like how much difference can you get with the pigment. Compared to the blushes, 
Like, I used a whole lot, but I didn't get a whole lot of pigment here. But then again, I'm not wearing any foundation on my skin, so I wonder if, you know, wearing foundation allows the product to stick on to the skin better and give you more pigment. Hmm. All right, let's just, I'm gonna apply foundation on my hand. All right, so I applied foundation on my hand. So this is how I have it. Yeah, definitely the bronzer is not, I feel like as buildable as the blushes are. All right, you can definitely see that the first one is actually very similar to the last one. But I feel like the last one, which is the shade Noble, is much darker than the first one, which I think was the shade, I was called Queen. And you can tell, I feel like you can tell that this one has a little bit more pink in it compared to this one is a little bit more red leaning. But they're both pretty neutral. And then you can see some brightness in the other ones, the pink one called Lovely and this one called um, Darling. I think, right? Yeah. I mean, my final thoughts on these blushes is pretty evident in the video. You guys saw it's buildable, seamless, and it just kind of melts into the skin and leaves a beautiful finish. Ugh. I'm gonna leave the links down below for you guys. They are affiliate links if you choose to shop from them. So that will help support my channel and I would love it if you do that. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I love Winky Lux. I have so many of their products. Their tinted moisturizer, their concealer, their eyeshadow, their mascara. I've used their eyeliner, their other blushes. Hi Let me know if you guys wanna see a full face of Winky Lux because I have everything and I'm a bit obsessed. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.